Why is it that you think right now is that turning point? What's the fulcrum that um, collectively got together to, to shift that? Well, you know, we've spent the last 50 years sorting out what our economy is going to be if we're not going to be making cars anymore. It was 1963 when Studebaker left, and at the time, a lot of people were questioning whether the city could ever survive. Now, the truth is that the city can survive and thrive even if Studebaker's not coming back, and it's taken a generation, maybe two generations, to come to terms with that and realize we can actually be even better off as long as we keep an eye on the future. What's happening now that's so exciting is a combination of economic development that's true to our roots, a lot of advanced manufacturing and innovation going on there, as well as a lot of things happening in fields that didn't even exist when I was born, like data centers and data analytics. So that's given us the economic foundation to really look to the future. And at the same time, and maybe even more importantly, the, the city started believing in itself again. I don't know how else to put it. You, you go downtown, you see people wearing the I heart SB buttons and you can just feel a vibe. And it's everybody from young professionals and hipsters in the downtown area to uh, retirees who are coming to embrace city living now that our city is starting to feel like a city again.